Hello everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're making authentic stovetop carnitas. So if you would like to see how to prepare these delicious carnitas, continue watching this video and let's get started. I'm cooking for a family of eight, so I'm gonna use about 10 pounds of pork. Sometimes you can find the packages in the store that are already labeled pork carnitas, but if you can't find those, you can also use boneless pork butt or pork shoulder. I'm also going to add about one and a half pounds of hog maw, which is pork stomach. In Spanish, it's also referred to as buche. The hog maw gives your carnitas that authentic flavor, but if you can't find it, you can leave it out completely and just use the pork meat. Start by dicing your meat into two to three inch pieces. The meat we're using was already pre-cut, so we're just going to add it directly to the bowl. When picking your meat, you want to pick pieces that still have a good layer of fat because that's what's going to give your carnitas more flavor. Generously season the pork with salt, mix it in, and set it aside while we dice the hog maw. Dice the hog maw into 2-3 to three inch pieces just like the rest of the pork. When you're done dicing it, place it in a separate container. We're going to be frying the hog mutt first because it does take a little bit longer to cook. For the amount of carnitas that I'm going to prepare, I'm going to use a 10 quart stock pot. When making this recipe, I recommend you use a heavy bottom pot or a Dutch oven. Before we begin to add everything into the pot, we're going to go over the ingredients really quick. We're going to need 2 cups of whole milk or 1 can of evaporated milk half a cup of condensed milk, two cups of regular Coca-Cola, one bottle or one can of your favorite beer, one large juicy orange, two medium-sized white onions cut in half, one large head of garlic, and about five to six bay leaves, and two cups of lard. The lard I'm using is the one that we got from the chicharrones, so that's gonna add even more flavor. You can find the link for the chicharrones recipe in the description of this video. We're gonna start out by melting the lard over medium high heat. A lot of you are probably watching this video and are a little concerned about all those ingredients that we're gonna add, but the combination of all those ingredients is what's gonna give the carnitas that authentic flavor. Once the lard is completely melted and it's nice and hot, add in the hog malls or the buche. The buche takes a little longer to cook, therefore we're going to add that one in first and we're going to fry it over medium heat for a good 20 minutes before adding the rest of the pork. The buche gives the carnitas a really nice flavor and it's actually very delicious. After about 20 minutes of frying the hog malls, they should have a light golden brown color like this. Once it reaches this point, add in the rest of the pork. Now that we have the rest of the pork in the pot, we're going to give it a light mix to mix it in with the hog malls. Cover and cook over low to medium heat for one hour before adding the remainder of the ingredients. During the first hour of cooking time, check on the meat often to move it around. This part is very important, especially the first 30 minutes of cooking time. This is not only going to help some of the pieces from getting stuck to the bottom of the pan, but it's also going to help all the pieces cook evenly. This recipe can also be prepared in an Instant Pot or in a crock pot. I prepared this recipe in the Instant Pot and it comes out amazing and in much less time. While we wait for the carnitas to cook, we're going to begin to dice the toppings for the tacos and prepare a delicious salsa. After one hour of cooking time, the meat has released a lot of its juices. Now it's ready for the rest of the ingredients. I'm going to start out by adding the liquid ingredients first, beginning with half of the beer. The two cups of whole milk or one can of evaporated milk. Half a cup of condensed milk. This is going to give it a light hint of sweetness and stickiness. Two cups of Coca-Cola. For best results, use regular Coca-Cola, not the diet one. You can also substitute the Coca-Cola with Dr. Pepper. Squeeze in the juice from the orange. Wash your orange before cutting it in half because once we're done squeezing in the orange juice, we're going to drop it into the pot. 
Squeeze in the juice from the other half of the orange and add it to the pot as well. Add the whole head of garlic cloves right in the middle. Add in the two medium sized onions cut in half and lastly your bay leaves. Cover and turn down the heat to low. I have a digital stove. I have mine set at 2.5. Cook for an additional two to two and a half hours. At this point, the meat has been cooking for about an hour. It's still not quite done, so we're gonna cover it and continue cooking for another hour or so, and then we'll come back and check on it. Our meat has been cooking for a little bit over two hours. Now we're gonna check on it again. You'll know your meat is ready when your broth has a light orange color to it and it has a light thickness to it. We're gonna check to see if the meat is done by picking up one of the pieces. Let's pick this one up and look at that. It falls apart almost immediately. The meat is definitely done. Now we're gonna turn off the burner and we're gonna fish out the orange, onion, garlic, and bay leaves. Now that the meat is done, you can definitely enjoy it like this, but we're gonna do one last step. We're gonna transfer the meat to a cookie sheet lined with aluminum foil. To give our carnitas a nice crispy texture that carnitas normally have, we're gonna broil it in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. After 10 minutes in the oven, the carnitas have a nice crispy texture. You can enjoy them just like this or you can dice them into smaller pieces for tacos. You can never make too much carnitas because you can always use the leftovers to make tacos, burritos, tostadas, gorditas. And if you're watching your figure, you can also enjoy them over a salad. We're gonna enjoy these delicious carnitas the good old traditional way, in tacos. Top them off with onion, cilantro, or any of your favorite toppings. Serve them with a side of radishes and a few slices of lime to give your carnitas extra flavor. And don't forget your salsa because a taco is never complete without salsa. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, give me a big thumbs up. Share with your friends and family so they don't miss out on future recipes. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in our next video with a different recipe.